Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. This one is going to be on how to create a spring in Blender for a um, some mechanical rigging, part of that whole series of things I did. Um, I'm recording the audio on a different computer to the one I normally do, and um, the uh, video on the same computer I normally do because my audio things all screwed up, so um, it may not turn out completely synced, but um, you should get the general gist of it, um, since I haven't made a tutorial in a while. Um, right, so first off, we're going to delete our default cube, then you press space, add, um, curve, bezier, circle, um, then you press tab into edit mode, press C so that it's no longer connected, um, C is to reconnect it, in case you didn't know, um, then we're going to split the view, um, because we want one on side view by pressing numpad one, and one on top view, which is what it's really in, uh, so we'll just zoom into one of these, uh, then we want to move all these points here up. So if we just press grab Z and then point three. Ah, oh, sorry. First, you need to um, turn on 3D. I always forget that one. <laughs> um, so grab Z point three. Then just select these two. Grab Z point three and just this one here. Grab Z point three. Yeah, cool. Now, um, the easiest way to continue it on is just select that whole thing there. Press Shift D, and then press um, um, Z, and then one point two because that's twelve, which is exactly one whole thing higher. So then, um, we can do that again. So press Shift D, um, grab one point two Z, Shift D, grab one point two Z. Okay, now um, to connect all these up, you select the top of the bottom one and then the bottom of the one above it. You press F and then it'll connect them up. So I'm um, do that to the next one and do this one here. And of course, um, if you still want your curve longer, you can just duplicate those as many times as you want. But um, for this tutorial, I'll just make it nice and short. Um, then what we need to do is we need to cap off the ends because um, if you have a look at this top view here, you can see that the end ones are going a different way to the which way to the way they're supposed to. So in side view here, we'll select one of them, and then we want to press N to go into Transform Properties and click Align. Now you can change it because before you couldn't. Uh, so then rotate it, hold Control, and make it horizontal. Um, same thing with this one here. Um, you want to press Align. And now press R to rotate it and hold control so you can align it vertically to that one there. So it's exactly the same. Um, cool. So now that we've done all that, what we can do is we can make it look more like a spring. So to do that, we just turn off front and back. This is a technique I learned from one of the Blender Open projects. Um, so yeah, so once you turn off those two there, you can turn the bevel up and um, turn it up. That's what controls the thickness of your curve. So make it nice and thick, and then um, and then to make it less um, square like that is, you just change it, change the bevel depth to a higher number, and then we'll smooth that out, and make it more of a circle. Okay, right, cool. So now we have um, our spring here. Um, what we want to do now is we want, so we want to start making it so it can move. Um, so to do that, we need to add empties to all of our points here. So the easiest way to do that is to press Z so you can see them easier. Um, and then just select each point and press Alt-H, no, Control-H, and add new empty hook. So add new empty hook, add to, yeah, add to new empty. I think it's supposed to get, it's the top one anyway. So you just do that to every single one. So um, to the center of the point. You don't do it to the, the side of it. You make sure you select all three dots on each of the um, control vertices. Um, and that'll move to the middle of it instead of... Um, yeah, so, so now that you've done that, go to side view again, and we want to add an armature. So press Shift C, so that the um, dot is in the center, and then press Space Add Armature, Space Add Armature, make sure you do it in the top view one because the laser will come out sideways. Um, then press tab to go into edit mode and you want to grab that point and holding control move it all the way up to um, exactly in line with the um, horizontal line that comes off that empty. 
Uh, then just add another one. So press E to extrude. Um, extrude it out sideways. It doesn't really matter where you extrude it, but I like to do it sideways. Um, and then you want to select this one here and press Alt P and clear parent. So they're no longer connected to each other. Um, okay, so then what we want to do is we want to add another bone. Uh, sorry, no. Once we've done that, you want to go out, you want to go into post mode. Then what you want to do is you want to select this bone here and, um, sorry, first you select this bone, press N, and you want to rename it to target or something you can remember. So um, I'll leave my target and select this one here and you want to click add constraint. Oh, we don't need to name this one and click stretch to. Then you want to type in armature, which is the name of our armature object. Um, a quick way to do it is just press A R then a capital A uh, then tab and that should write it all out if you don't have any other objects with the same name and then the bones name is target with no capital um, and that should work for us but we just need to turn off the volume here um, basically what that does is it, it simulates volume with the stretching um, which means that it'll go wide when it's down and go tall when it's up which is great if you're trying to make a cartoony effect but we're not um, now what we can do is we can test it by grabbing this bone here and just moving it around sorry why is that? It's, apparently, it's still connected. So, Alt P, clear parent. Great. All right now, it's for so free will. And if we grab it and move it around, you can see that that bone stretches to it. Right click so it jumps back to the right place. Then, what you want to do is you want to select all of these empties. Um, a quick way to do it is just to select everything, and then deselect the stuff that um, you don't want parented. So. The right click and let it delete everything in the little square you drag over, and then shift select um, this bone here. So that's our parent thing, and everything else has been parented to it. Then press um, Control P and parent to bone. So now, when we move this top one here, um, everything else moves with it, which is awesome. That's exactly how we want it. Um, just press space add mesh cube move the cube somewhere and then you select this point here add a constraint you want to add a um, copy location constraint um, you want to click offset and the target is cube with a capital C so is that cube I think that offset screwed up. Yeah, so if you turn off offset, then it'll just jump to the middle of it, and that's not exactly what we want, but it's close enough. So now whenever we move this point here, um, the rest of it comes with. And what you can do is you can actually select um, all the uh, empties again, because we don't need to see those anymore, because they're just part of the, the rigging. So if we just... Um, select all that stuff we don't need to see anymore and we can then go to press M and move them to this bottom layer here press OK now whenever you move this cube the uh, spring just kind of magically moves with it and um, you don't really see any of the underlying stuff except for those points and I have no idea how to remove those um, they're constraint line things but yeah other than that um, it's a good way to do this kind of stuff I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and Hope you find a uh, use for it. Um, if you do make a video or something, please uh, post it on YouTube and then uh, send uh, send it as a reply to this video, so um, so everyone else can see what what each other has done. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching, and um, I will see you again next time.